round of applause for us, man. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm gonna get a word out this month. Hey, wait, I gotta pull it up. <laughs> welcome to the show, we bring you something Everyone different. Is Give the right. world a few words of advice. Thank Look, you. we just want the viewers to listen. We gotta go and spread the world. One stop like a soldier that's going on this. Got the viewers so tuned in. So close to the screen and they about to kiss it. Motivational, inspirational. Them boys are bringing all the faith if you get in place. Like a handkerchief with your team work together like a cheeky food. Be remembered like the Yankee Doodle. I remember times that we were eating noodles. Now life is sweet like a toaster strudel. Hit the sub button, you know what to do. I'm gonna tune in next week. I'm loving this show, I'ma tune in next week I'm loving this show, I'ma tune in next week If it's working for you, shit, then it's working for me Okay Yes, sir Hey, yo, we back, man You already know it's Met Podcast We back in the building, man You already know we got the red lights Got the rojo Rojo You like that, you like that Rojo uh, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Why am I like you got? Why you like you got a problem? Yeah, what, no, it cool. On? It what, cool. What, what, Mr. Shiny? It, oh, you like that? I know. Shiny vinyl. I didn't know it was fine when I did it. Uh, what, what, man? I'm just like, oh, I feel out of sync. Which, how do you feel? What, why? Why? Empty because he in my seat. Oh man. Oh, that's here, crazy. Here he goes, man. No, it cool. It cool. It cool. Yeah, you in Switch the hot up. seat today. Switch up. Switch up. I know. It's cool. I you in the hot seat today. You, you want to be a little musical chair, man. I know. It's, it's because you didn't bring a hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang. Well, it's okay. It's just, it Dang, fit. no hat, man. I'm a spade pirate now. It's, it's, I'm good. For oh, sure, yeah. for sure. We usually, we usually stand alone, you know. Right. It be like that. All right, All right bro. Man. But so, anyway, what, what, we got the... We got the uh, I got something. I got some. Got listen, facts. listen. Fact of the day, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This is a great one. Listen. How can I put this in a way? Because it's only us who do this dumb shit. This is dumb. Uh, what we yeah, do? it's us. Listen. If you buy something and, and that package open, go ahead and put that back. Don't. It been tampered with. You, you go in the store, you get you some water, and you try to crack that. You open it, and you don't hear that click. No, nah, put that water back. It been that tampered with. That ain't. That's like not us. That, uh, no, it be us. That's not common sense. Uh, so that's that's like. I not, I, I'm not gonna say any names. That's not common sense. I'm gonna. I, 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 I'm not gonna say no names. I don't. I, and if they watch me, I really don't give a damn. You can't beat my ass. Listen. So. <laughs> there. Uh, there's a certain place. I'm not gonna say where. What? Mm-hmm. I'm, listening. I'm listening. There was a a young lady. There's a man that comes out there and sells. Crustables, you know that's supposed to be frozen, in the frozen now. And uh, a young lady at, at the job went on, yeah, yeah, we like went on and and bought it, and then the box was open for sure, for sure. Like the, he was selling a whole box, and then the box was open, and he went on. Oh no, he said he had to make sure all of them was in there. No, that box been tampered with, baby. You need to take that back. So the fact of the day is basically use common sense. Yes, you yes. See something that looks like it's open. Don't go ahead and put that back. Put it back. Like, oh, okay, I give you a better God. one. That's if you common sense, everybody. Now, man, the, we, we now, know, father, you know, di- dime a dozen. I mean, yeah. not dime a dozen. It's, uh, that would be dime yeah, that a is dozen. Right, a dime a dozen. It is right here. Like, perfect example. Father Day is coming up, right? Mm-hmm. Some people want to be a father. Like, listen, they want to be a father. Yeah, they want to be a father. Well, my bad. Let me take it up. The choice is going to be made for you. If you go to that lady house and she coming out with that con, yeah, go ahead. It been what? poked through. Yeah, she she tampered with that. What what is this? Where, where, we, where, where are we where are we going? going? I'm just telling you. <laughs> what, what happened? Tampered things. What? When okay. things are tampered, yeah, the basically you must pay attention to the things you Brother, touch. Brother, are you okay? No, I'm just saying because people keep is, doing dumb things. What, like the, stuff the, is open. On, listen to me. What what is what has harmed you in life? What what is? I'm what just is saying. Happened, I'm just, just saying. Wanna, I just want to know. I'm just saying. We can talk about it. If if that kind of been poked through. We, we, we can we can all talk right. about it, man. Well, you know, hey, we, we can talk okay. about it. A better one. I'm offering. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm offering the uh, what they call the uh, the olive branch, bro. You, you, so we have been good. Okay, make sure it's good anyway, because uh, I don't know where we were going for. Well, right? I tell you what, the jig I don't is know up. what kind of fact Dark day place. it is. Yeah, it was sunken place. Get I'm out. Just saying, like, you pregnant? Saying. What? Huh? You pregnant? No, you no. Know, yeah. <laughs> oh, we talking about me? I'm asking you. 
You ain't had no Me? dream about no fishes or nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I had a dream about a flounder, but I don't know what that kind of a fish. Flounder? It does that count as a fish. A flounder, like a big? Okay. Or, or like a shark? I mean, does it have fins, gills, living nose, and water? I had a, I had a, I had a dream about a shark. Oh, uh, and shark. I don't know. What but the shark ate happen. the flounder, though. I don't know what day about that one. You I, pregnant? Well, yeah, my wife is here. Yeah. yeah Shout out Diamond. She getting some extra footage for yeah. us while we listen to this yeah, rambling yeah. uh man. Yeah. You know I'm telling you. And that. speaking of rambling, man, it's my turn to ramble. Yeah, okay, question of the day. 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 Oh God. What we got? So we all are in agreement that cheating is a non, no go. A no go. Like there's no recovering from that, right? Well, my wife is in the room, huh? Right, right. We yeah, all agree to. We yeah, all agree to that, yeah. right? One hundred percent. Okay, so do you think that people that forgive it have lower self respect than people that don't? I wouldn't say that. I would say it's not necessarily with self respect. Some people actually have cultural roots and standards. Like if you go back to like old school families that's married. Mm -hmm. You got people that will tell you like it may something may happen in that woman or especially whoever it is they'll just make that person suffer. But if you talk to a lot of old heads with it, mm -hmm. they tell you that is to death do you part all time and just so it's it, like I said I wouldn't say self standards. Just some people actually have certain standards that they uphold to, you know what they yeah, have now. You gotta. I, I always say the same thing. Mm -hmm. If I do something, it's still up to that person to forgive. If mm -hmm. that person forgive, then. I mean, yeah. yeah. Now, does it make them left as a left as a person? No. Mm -hmm. It like I said, I no no self esteem, no anger. It's just that I'm trying to forgive you. You, you know, get a heart. Yeah, some people, I, I, so. cause like I said, if you you know want to take it, the Bible says you know you you're supposed to forgive. You no know, mm -hmm. love that. I was like, you can't hold it. Now, yeah, you can hold it against somebody. But I if, mean, you you but, are. Yeah. I, mean, you, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. like it's like a punishment because at yeah. the end of the day, I mean, if you look at you still you still hurt me, but, you know, but, yeah, but, I still did that deed, but, but I can still forgive you. I don't think you can operate under that though. Right? Yes, you can. You under mean? holding something against somebody. Yeah, that's I mean, like that's I like mean, being yeah. that's like being best friends with somebody, but you secretly don't like them. How no, do you operate? Because really. it's like okay, so if if we're going forward with something as extreme as a relationship that's like very beneficial to my life in every regards, why would I want to go through that whole all these years? Holding on to this thing because it's still pain. You know what I and mean. Nobody, I don't think nobody will hold on to it's it. Like, well, that's what we're saying, right? I would, it's, yeah. I'll, <clears throat> it's pain. Mm -hmm. You still hurt a person at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Like you still did something to hurt that person. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna forgive you, but mm -hmm. I'm still gonna make this. You know, unpleasant for you because you made it unpleasant for See, me. But that's the yeah. thing, though. But but is that forgiveness? But, yeah, because you're going out of your it's way to fair. make it unpleasant. But that's it's fair. No, you did it to me. Is, 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 See, but that's an eye for eye. That's not forgiveness. It's not. A, it is. It's, no, it's not. I eye can't for let eye. it go. I mean, damn long can let breath it go. Of yeah, oh, I've been trying to say something for like the past five minutes. God, just breathe, breathe. He made Luffy, me, Luffy, Luffy. He, he made me upset. Breathe for a moment. God, dog. But anyway, no, it's not necessary. List the thing is. It's like the same thing, like in the world. Mm -hmm. If you do something, you got different punishments that you can receive. Right. One punishment can be a lesser evil, can be more evil. So the thing is, you got to realize a person can just forgive you, but if you think that that's basically like life. If you think you're just gonna do something, you don't receive punishment. That's kind of like that's kind of yeah. like much yeah, immature on your end. So yeah, at the end of the day, it depends. Now, when it becomes immature, it depends on how long. That person can end of the day, yeah. Now that becomes you making it trying to be a suffer thing. Like no, at the end of the day. You make that person, you make them realize that they made that mistake. But mm -hmm. once it go on too long, you said years and stuff, that at that point, bro, it's you playing so it's, games. Man. Like, it's there? like you trying to use it. Now you trying to do something because now it made me think like now you trying to do something back and two wrongs don't make it right. Mm -hmm. That is when it becomes like dirty on that part. So yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, you got to you gotta take punishment because either you're going to be punished by that person or you're going to be punished by... Right. And, I, and, I, agree, and I agree with that. I agree yeah. with the punishment thing. But it's like... It, a good example of it, right? You know how people serve time in, in jail or in prison or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they get out, but they're still stamped as a felon. And that's the same thing as holding it over your head for a long period of time, even though you served your, your punishment. Time. You know what I mean? So, And that's kind of what I'm relating it to, like forgiveness. If I forgive you, yeah, there should be a punishment. I'm not saying there shouldn't be. But what I'm saying is that, especially when it comes to something like that, when you forgive somebody, you have to you know, not bring it up again. 
yeah, this this suffer this pain because because what's what what is bringing it up again doing? What is it doing? Only time I would say if I was to bring it up again is if that person was acting as if they in their if they were acting in their life as if they just forgot that they did it. Like if they were just moving like they just ain't remember that this happened. That's the only time I'd be like, bro, you you like you really just acting like you don't remember this happening before. Like this is the same. That's the only time. Other than that, I have no reason to really bring it up. That that bring it to the point you being petty. You trying to win an argument. Like, mm-hmm. but there's no. no time limit though on on yeah. there. And I agree. There no, isn't yeah. any time I, limit. I think I, I think I hold because we got to remember if this is a relationship and I cheated on you, but you still hurt me. Like I'm gonna make this. Even though I forgive you and mm-hmm. we still together, I'm gonna make this as difficult as possible. I don't care how long it takes. If you want me, and you want the forgiveness, mm-hmm. yeah, and I gave it to you, no, mm-hmm. you have to do my standards. I'm not letting that go. I'm I'm gonna hold it to you until I feel like it could take fifty years. You stayed. See, that's the part See, when I okay. say his 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 yeah. part. That's what it making confused. Cause his is the petty part. But that's, <laughs> that's not so, petty. So, so, so here's the thing, right? All right. So <laughs> and this is this is how like my mind operates, right? So let's say you would make it like extremely difficult because you want to, them to understand. Yeah, what you did. What was going on? All right. So let's say you're put in a situation because it's like okay. Let's say you're the person that did it, right? And you want forgiveness, and then you go to this person. And let's just say that y'all talk about it, y'all hash it out. No, wait, wait, because I'm not going to say exactly what you think I'm going to say. So y'all talk about it, y'all hash it out, right? And punishment is served. But let's just say they're extremely forgiven. Let's just say that they never brought it up again. Y'all moved even better now. And then the crazy part about it is you have so much respect and so much love for that person because you did something completely awful and they chose to accept you fully and even more so. And that creates such a safe place for you because nobody can really offer you something like that because that's such a specific scenario. You feel what I'm saying? And the amount of love that you would feel for that person because they accepted you even though you did them absolutely dirty would be insurmountable. Exactly. So think about how you would feel. You know what I mean? If somebody get, did did right by you and did kind by you, you would just be like, okay, well why would I put somebody through something like that? I guess it just depends on the person. It, it, mm-hmm. it, it, now, it's it's now, crazy. You know, yeah. I hate I hate that that saying that all men are the same and all women are the same. I was like, it just I guess it would depend on the person. Like, hey, I know. Do you you all know there's a lot of bad women out there that are gonna say, No, nah, I'm gonna forgive him, but it ain't gonna be too easy because like I like how you said, I'm gonna walk around here and act like mm-hmm. I just didn't just seat with the lady up the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the part in which, like I said, if you really believe in the word and stuff like that, when you hold on to something for too long, that actually becomes a part of you actually still holding on to guilt yourself yeah. because of, and that's the part where you don't realize, like, that's when it becomes suffering. Like, the fact is, like, once you know that the damage has been done, like, you know, somebody is working, they're trying to do something, like, it's a difference. And at that point, like, it may feel good to you, but you got to really think, is it the right thing to do in life? Because at the end of the day, whenever you do wrong, Mm-hmm. Best believe that there is going to be bad to come. So even yeah. if you escape yeah. them person forgiving you, mm-hmm. you're going to go right outside and catch a flat tire or something. So it's <laughs> you ain't going to escape it. So it's like you're going to get punishment so no matter what, even so if that person the, is forgiving you. What's the time frame then? I, I think, I but don't you know. don't, you, I feel like thinking about that is not going to yeah. help anything. Also, too, when it comes to forgiveness, you got to realize just in general, like certain things aren't in your control. Yeah. yeah you yeah. can forgive this person, but you can't control whether they do it again or not. So when you choose to forgive them, you have to move based on what you can control yeah, and still sure, contribute sure. and show up as yeah, your best self. Sense. Because if you come up to the relationship with anxiety and worried about stuff that you have no control over, you're just going to make yourself suffer. Yeah. 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 And there ain't no need for none of that. Yeah. Because life is already hard enough as it is. So at the end of the so, day, man, that's what it is, man. You just, yeah. you I, gotta, just I just don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, oh, there you yeah. go, there you go. Matter of fact, I, but, I, I was going to say that in the beginning, like, yeah, if, you, if you, a lot of the problems that come about, if you just avoid it in the first place and just don't do it, you ain't got to worry about even putting yourself in this predicament. Easier, easier said than done, yeah. though. Yeah, it is. Because it's there's a lot of stuff that we tell ourselves that we shouldn't do that we do anyway. I, mean, I shouldn't, I, I'm trying to work out and I'm trying to get strong. I shouldn't eat this. I'm going to eat it. But is that self-respect? Yes. If you have self-respect that's a, that's a love, that's, that's more so discipline, which ties into self-respect. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I think we all do different things. It's just different levels to the things that we do. Because I'm pretty sure you said that, hey, I got a chore that I need to do right now, and I didn't do it. Yeah. So it's just like, 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like lack human of beings, self, you just uh, don't do lack of self. What it is, it's like if you know that something is bad and you still do it, it's just lack of. Because I think we all, like you said, we all it's do discipline. it. Yeah, it's like nigga, lack of we self discipline. There we go. Yeah. We all do it, man. Everybody you know, we know we ain't supposed to eat that mm-hmm. five hundred car meal, but we gonna scarf that I, down. Honestly, bro, I, I, over the last few, because I've been thinking about this for like the last few weeks, I have respect, even though people look at you like a less of a person, because that's a common thing when you get cheated on and take the person back. I got respect for people that can actually do it because the how difficult it would be to actually do this is like because just because everybody has this route where they take the easiest route with everything, so it's just like oh man, I have to go about I, my whole some people's whole lives has to change if they decide they want to leave out a relationship. You feel what I'm saying? And that's not something that's just easy to do, but it's also not easy to be in a situation where you don't know if this is the right call or not. But for people that have that emotional capacity mm-hmm. to forgive somebody, because it's like I said, the highest form of vibration is love mm-hmm. and forgiveness is part of that. And if you are able to do that, like, cause it's I know gonna, I could, cause it's it, going to be a journey. Though, I mean, I it, respect it's, the people that time, it's, it's definitely different, but like yeah. I said, old school times, I mean, yeah. you don't watch movies and stuff where folks don't literally, you don't watch plenty of movies, especially old school movies. Like if you talk to a lot of your grandparents and stuff like that, you're like, now if you go talk to your grandparents right now, they'll tell you, yeah, that person may do that, but that's hey, it's to death do you part, man. Mm-hmm. You know, such and such. So it definitely has changed because if you really think about it, it really kind of goes back into people not being able to forgive. People are a lot more sensitive these days, so it's hard to forgive. Think about the way that people are killing each other over little things that's happening. Like, you can imagine back in the day, you step on the Jordan, you may fight, you step on somebody Jordan today, they're trying to shoot you. Yeah. The world is a lot mm-hmm. more sensitive. Yep. So it comes to, like, they don't know the position to really forgive, man. Mm-hmm. So it goes and ties into what we want to talk about today. And as I say, do you blame... Part of the world being so sensitive and being the lack of vulnerability, do you think that is blame on the lack of fatherhood inside the households? Yes. Why? Yes, 100%. Because if you think about it, and this is no knock against single mothers, hey, yeah, y'all do y'all thing, but y'all can't raise that, man. Y'all, y'all can't. And y'all... You miss out on not have you miss out on certain lessons. Yeah, someone's gonna have a conversation. You are gonna make dumb decisions. Everybody has doing it, but you still have a a father figure to sit there and work it out. Tell you you don't have to go through all this alone. And I feel like a mother cannot do that up a hundred percent. And I feel like we miss out. And the reason why, like I said vulnerability we i feel like with the boys hanging out with the mothers more you you have the you tend to have female tendencies Mm -hmm. and this is is what happens that's true and now with the female tendencies you take that on Mm -hmm. (laughs) to your relationships and life and you didn't have that father's side to tell you no you don't do Mm -hmm. that no a man does this Mm -hmm. a man takes out the trash for the woman the man uh, the man gets out the car gas up Gas mm-hmm. up the car for the for the woman. You yep. don't sit you there. Know know what the now what do you get? You mm-hmm. see man in the car mm-hmm. and the woman pumping the gas. And thank you, bro. And, and I just want to <laughs> piggyback off what he just said because of as an individual, like I said, you know me, me, Jerome. We're we're both married. My brother right here. We'll he 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 will. Don't, don't, don't. Next week. Anyway, next yeah. week. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> we are married, so you know, especially you know, with with my situation, I have two little girls. Um, and one thing I can definitely say is. Father figures are definitely needed in little girls' life. Like I said, there's no disrespect <coughs> to the mother, but I see it in the household myself. Like I said, I love my daughters. I love my wife to death, but I see it in the household myself. Them daughters are going to try that mother just like that son will try that father. Yeah. The mothers will be less lenient to listen to the mother, and she'll have to fuss more versus that father that can really teach discipline. Like I said, there's no disrespect, but it's a fact is, my wife even tells me herself, it's the bass, the baritone, it's just the, the, the I would even say, like I said, it's not to necessarily say your kids are scared, but it's the fact is that, oh shit, daddy coming like, hockey. Mm-hmm. They, they go, yeah. it, it's the imaginary yeah. hockey that the father <laughs> brings, man, just by the simple, just your kids acting up, hey, 
Watch how quiet. Sound like get. amigo. Hey, 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 mama. No, just play. But then that's serious. See, mama, like in all honesty. So that is in reference to a girl side. In reference to the the son, that son needs that mother because if he does not know vulnerability, then he goes out here being oh, no. super sensitive. And yeah. everything else. And I mean, so it may, I'm talking about basic vulnerability oh. to know how to treat a woman, different things like that. Because but can't that, get that from a father either, though. Mm, you can, but it's the fact is what the what to know better than to learn from a woman herself. It's the fact is you can't yeah. learn woman traits from a man, and you can't learn man traits from a woman. So it's the fact is it's like that balance has to be there. And I have to say, in the world that we live in now, a lot of these women tend to hold that pain. Against that child. That's why you see a lot of these <sighs> women now doing a lot more kind of crazier things. So you'll look and you'll be like, and that's why you see, I'm gonna be real. Like I said, so you won't see if you look in the comment section, then you'll see people in the comment section be like fatherless behavior or something, something. And it's just being real. Like that balance is needed in that household, man. So that father is definitely needed. I don't know. Man. I like the father. I, I think I think it is based is really based on that father. Because if you have a good male, like I said, yes, just say you have a good male role model. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a father. Does that still count as someone showing me stuff? Yeah, no. So it it really, so I think with this whole thing, it's it's good to have a role model. There you go. Just in general. So I don't, a role model. I'm not going to say that if you have a single mother, like if you're raising a single mother household, you're doomed, right? (laughs) I'm not going to say that. If you raise in a single father house home, you're doomed. I'm not going to say that at all. I think it's important to more so than just if you can't have both parents to have community. Yeah. So when you have community, it takes a village. Yeah. It's, it takes it, a village. it's definitely, you could definitely like supplement what you're missing. Right. I think the important thing is exposure. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think you just need to <coughs> be in a situation where it's just only been you and your mama or only you and your yeah. daddy. Mm-hmm. You need, cause you can learn from not having as well, right? True. Mm-hmm. Because if you have an absent father and your mom is a good woman and she tells you about these things and it's just like you want it it'll, sometimes it'll even kickstart you to be a better man. You know what I mean? Where it but it could also take you the opposite route. True. Yeah. You know, so I think a lot of the things that happen when it comes to people growing up is really on them to a certain when you get to a certain age. Like yeah, your adolescence like if your adolescence is bad and you get older and you become more self-aware, then you have to be the kind of person to go back and try to figure out why you this way and why you that way. But that kind of that kind of like I would say that that point when you wait till you get older, the mm-hmm. damage is kind of already done. Not necessarily. The damage is done. Yeah, yeah. but the is but done. there there also is you can also repair yourself. Yeah. The damage will but be it's done. It's gonna be harder. That's exactly. But but harder. life life ain't easy though. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It, but it, it's all about the belief that you have. Because the thing about it is. We're all exposed to a lot of stuff. We choose what we accept. You know what I'm saying? What we, yes. Whatever we see. like It's like, okay, if we see that this person gets money by doing this, selling drugs, whatever, on the streets and everything like that, and if we choose that we want to be like that, then we'll go down that path. But we'll also see businessmen. We'll also see executives. We'll also see different kinds of athletes. We'll see all that. I'll say, okay, I like this. I'm going to choose this path. Be- regardless of how we brought... Now, yes, when you have both parents, you just it's like starting off with an Fresh. advantage. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? You yeah. just starting off with an advantage. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't that doesn't have anything to do with the end game at all. That's just how you start off. Mm-hmm. If I start off the game, all my stats are one, you feel what I'm saying, versus all his stats are 10. By the time we get up to 60, 70, it's about what we did to get there. But forget what we started off with. You know what I mean? It's so good I would, good I would, I mean, because some people actually, yeah, I mean, you can say that it does. Yeah. Like I said, it depends yeah. because but some I have people an actually optimistic develop, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some yeah. people actually develop disorders and different things from stuff like that happening. Mm-hmm. So like I said, it's different for everybody. But you got some people that develop PTSD, some people that may develop bipolar. It's like some people that actually develop long term things mm-hmm. that happen because of that unbalance in the household. Because mm-hmm. you know different things. So like I said, everybody is different. But at the end of the day. It still is going to affect you in the long run. It's just it'll be a lot easier for you to have, like you said, even if it's not a father figure, like you said, mm-hmm. a role model, or mm-hmm. just to have both in. Because the fact is, it's the best of both worlds. A male and a female can teach you both sides of the spectrum, bro. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, a female can teach what a male knows, and a male can teach what a female knows. That's just being real. No matter how much yeah. you go through, no matter how much science you can look up, it's nothing like hearing it from the horse's mouth. So it's just like. Yeah. 
and, and to add on to that, and I completely, mm-hmm. I completely agree with that. And to add on to that, I remember because we all know who Tony Robbins is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was yeah. like, and he was talking about how he was brought up, and he was saying he was thankful because he said his mother was abusive and everything. And he said he was thankful for her being like that because if she was the mother that he wanted her to be. Then he wouldn't be the person that he is. Yeah, see, you feel what I'm saying? That's how some people and, are different. And and, 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 and when you flip that frame, it's some people different. Yeah, yeah. Some you know people saying? look at an abuse frame. and it affected me and broke me. And some yeah. people don't know how to use but that have, strength. So but yeah, he that's true. Like he couldn't have if he had the mother that he but wanted. He couldn't choose. You can't. I mean, choose. yeah, of course you can't choose. But if he had the mother that you wanted, well, you wouldn't have. Think about it. He wouldn't have to make that statement. But think about it like this too. And I remember saying it on an earlier episode where we were talking about love and pain. And because he experienced that pain, it gave him the fuel to get to where he is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in a way that he's thankful for it because he flipped the frame to to his advantage. And that's the thing that people don't typically do. They don't use everything against them to flip it to be like, well, if I don't have anything, that means I got nothing to lose. Where some people would be like, I don't have anything. I shouldn't be anything. You know what I mean? So so, so it's like, and, it, and then also you got examples of people that went through similar things if the same thing that you went through and they made it somewhere. So yeah. why can't you? And I, you I feel what I'm saying? Can I piggyback yeah, on something yeah, you yeah. said? So the basically what he's saying is like, again, if you lack the if you lack the resources, again, if you don't have the proper resources, like you said, mm-hmm. it's up to that community mm-hmm. as a whole to still provide that. He may not be able to fill that whole void, but it's up to that community to still be able to. So even if you don't have, like you said, a father, you may have a grandfather, you may have a brother. It, it just depends. It's just you may have, you need to have that community or somebody to be able to fill that void to make it work. Because if you don't, then that's when that pain and that suffering starts to kind of eat at you and you start to suffer with it more because you didn't have the proper people to talk to and to teach you how to go through it without missing that resource. So it's like, like you said, to go back to yeah. what you said, you have that community. It also helps. So if I you are like missing the community that part, though, why not? Only because it takes a village. I well, mean, I get y'all not wrong with mm-hmm. that. I just with today's time, that's what's wrong. It's not a village. <laughs> our, our community is tainted. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yes, to say like if we're going by, of course, if this was years ago, oh no, we wouldn't even really be because fam fathers never really left or mm-hmm. anything. You know, it was rare, mm-hmm. but. If we going off today, I was like, hell, what what are your chances? Like, but you might not get a gang member as a, as your role model. Everybody don't fail you now. Here come this guy. Because remember, I don't know what's right and what's wrong or what's mm-hmm. good for me. And now here come a gang member telling me, oh, well, I could do this for you. I just so, want to correct you on something before you go too far. You know, actually, statistically proven, the numbers are actually better now with households together in today's in time. In today's right? time? Yeah. I still don't see it. I'm just, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, just because oh, we don't see it. Don't mean. We don't well, see I, it. The numbers it, don't yeah, lie, though, right. but I, the numbers are actually better in today's time than they were back then. The reason why I then. say that <laughs> is because your ki- you look at your kids and mm-hmm. what they're doing. Because I'm not saying you're wrong about the statistic. I'm saying look at what we see mm-hmm. from... Like you said, women shaking their behind on top but of cars. That goes back to it. That's what social media wants to feed you. They try to push that single parent Household. living because they don't want, they're not going to push that. But if you look up, there's plenty of YouTube families that have good families, plenty of TikTokers, plenty of Instagram. There's a lot. The numbers is way higher. I will say that now, even with interracial relationships, the numbers is way mm-hmm. better when it comes to relationships now than there ever were. It's just the damage that has been done from the past people, like you said, that, that's. And I'm going to be real, one of the biggest problems, I'm going to be like, I'm going to say it right now. One of the biggest problems with being raised up in households now, and I'm, I'm going to give my word of advice now. Your kids are not your best friend. <sighs> Let me say that yes. again. Your kids are not your yeah. best friend. Friends, yes. that is wrong with a half of the society now. You all are trying to raise kids like they are your best friends, and you are limiting your parenting when you're giving to that child because you're trying to. They go and they go flat in somebody tire, and you just oh, it, it's okay. No, no, mm-hmm. that child needs to be punished and disciplined. It don't mean you go and you abuse that child, but yeah. at the end of the day, you gonna turn around. I'm finna pop you on your ass. If something needs to happen, hey, I'm finna scold you. Hey, no, no, I abuse? was just finna get into that. What's, hey, what's gonna abuse? See, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at a video, and I don't agree with this man, Umar Johnson, all the time, but he did say something about discipline that I agree with. He said he doesn't beat his children unless, like, they do something wrong. Like, yeah. let's say they get a bad a bad like grade or a bad test grade or something like that. He'll, like, he's not going to beat them. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to do them. Mm-hmm. If they, you know, go outside 
and they might say something foul to somebody. Probably not going to do nothing. Mm. But he said if they like put their hand on the stove, he beating them because that could danger no. their life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, life dangerous like stuff. That. Yeah, because yeah, that wording, that, that's, that, that's what I just want to talk yeah. about. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the things I'm going to say. So don't let social media fool you because yeah. that's why I say also now, that is, that's why I say it's another thing now. The wording is what mm. people, and it'll make it feel like, if you say right now, you, you may have said it normally, yeah. but if people in the cameras be like, beating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I say, so it is a difference between discipline, discipline yeah. and abuse, yeah. and beating. Yeah. Don't let this social media fool you yeah. and make it think that you cannot put your hand on your child because at the end of the day, it goes back to it. it, it you, can, you, can, you can hit them with a slipper. You can hit them with the back of your hand. It's all Switch. about the timing. Yeah. If you constantly do it, that's when it becomes a beating. Mm-hmm. But discipline, you look at them one good time, Yeah. That's it. So they know. So at the end of the day, don't let social media fool you into thinking that just because you pop your child one time, oh, that's, oh, you abusing. No, no, no. I am bad? merely disciplined. It's that bad in the world, bro. They, they really want to make it seem. The thing is, that's why I say don't fool you because they want this to happen because the more that the kids are not being disciplined properly, the more kids are on HDHD medicine, ADHD <laughs> medicine, the more kids that are being in jail, the more kids that are on drugs, the more kids that are not being disciplined properly are leading to the more kids that are right oh my bad my bad that are leading to more kids that are going downhill bro so don't let this social media fool you don't make you think that disciplining your kids is the proper way even with they'll make you feel that even yelling your raising your voice at kids is wrong like come on man like they want these kids to grow up and be straight murderers bro and also like active parenting isn't like i have it already set in my mind what i'm going to do you have to cater to your child specifically right because when i was growing up Right. I didn't I didn't care about beatings at all. Don't take my stuff. <laughs> right. Like I'd rather get beat up and down the wall than you take my PlayStation. Right. So my mom didn't have to touch me. She was just like, oh, OK, let me get this. Yep. Mm-hmm. What? what the, let, let me get that. Oh, you want to go outside? No, nah, mm-hmm. nah, nah. And that was enough for me. But that might not have mean meant nothing to the next person. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? They might have get scared to get popped. I think it's that shit does scare me. Bro. So you my have mama to talk like, about took him out and think you. I'm gonna say something because this is funny. <laughs> How my mama used to punish me. Yeah, my mama used to leave my system in the room, bro, with all my games and not everything. the bait. And bro, she cord. took my controller. <laughs> yeah, she took the controller. Yo, so you, you gotta know look how at it. painful that is, bro. It used to actually fool me sometimes. I used to come home, but like, I'm finna play. Fuck, I forgot see, I'm on punishment. See, they couldn't do and that you, to me. Nah. You Yo, and, and, and like you said, bro, it freaked me out, me. bro. Ooh. It freaked me out so bad. And it, it, yeah. it got to a point where that wasn't enough. Like, mm-hmm. I got my controller taken from me, and I still got a little, hey, man, because you just you did some crazy stuff. But it really just took taking my controllers and having me look at that system. And then my mom used to do it. She used to love doing it when I got a new game. Hey, look, this is me. Ooh. This is me. I'm gonna be like, hey, bro, can I borrow your controller? But, oh, but, no, <laughs> but and you and you gotta try to hurry up and get that controller back or hide it before they well, get home. You like, but you look, you've been on, and the thing it'd be so bad because you be into the game. You oh shit, it's the, now you panicking. Now you, now you gotta find out how to get the control. Man, I give it to you worse. What? What's up? My dad and my dad. Well, my dad really did most of the discipline. My mom did some stuff, but my dad Same really did. But. Mm-hmm. My dad did it worse. My dad didn't take nothing. Mm-hmm. My dad said he dared you to touch it. No, he left it right there. Okay, mm-hmm. I already knew he, he left it dared right you there. To touch it. He okay. said, "You know he what? Dared you to touch it. I told you, you ground don't touch it. You touch it, that's mm-hmm. on you." I'm thinking, eh, you ain't who's mm-hmm. gonna know? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, back then you had them TVs with the back, yeah, the booty back, the booty yeah, back. yeah, booty yeah, back TV, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, with the yellow, that. white, and red cable. Uh-huh. And I feel oh, like, yeah. oh man, oh, shit, I'm finna go play this, man. You ain't gonna know. By the time you get home, shit, yeah, sleep. Came home one day, I played the hell out of that game too. Two K two K five. Ben Wallace on the cover. I never forget. Okay. Came home. Uh-huh. He looked at me. You day was all right? I, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's middle of the night. You he was like, he That's he all he did. He laid that hand on that shoulder? No, he laid it on the TV. Oh man. man. He said, Yeah, you, I know you had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there like no, no, <laughs> not now. No, not now. It's fourth quarter. No, I'm about man. to win. And no, mm-hmm. I was in bed. He came home. Oh, uh-huh. he came oh, home. That's the worst. When you used to get caught it, when you were in bed or was, get out the TV shower. Was warm. No, TV the was shower. hot. Oh, TV was <laughs> <laughs> TV was hot. T- TV, TV got cut off. Oh, he used the thermal maybe, energy on him. Maybe man. ten minutes before he came home. Hot. Oh, TV hot. Hot. And the worst part was 
my dad had a thing about for me. Now it's time for discipline time. Yo, beat me? Well, not beat. Whatever. Discipline. discipline and then make me stand for hours. Yep. He'll sometimes he'll fall asleep. Yep. Yo, oh, no. And I'll be standing. <laughs> and then I made the mistake. My mama came and said, boy, go, go lay down. Go sit down. You listen? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you got back up. Mm-hmm. Did it again. I need you to go stand right. right. I didn't tell you to move. And that's another thing I want to tell people. Hey, that going against mom and dad, like how you said. Yeah. That, no. Ooh. No. Can't do that. No, now, it would have struggled, so, now, bro. So can can't, I, can't, can't struggle. I, I want to target on that. That is another big thing. A part, a part is the, the mom and dad decision. So yeah, let, let me talk about this oh, now. Man. As a father, one. once somebody makes a decision... Once you go and make a decision behind that other parent, that causes a turmoil within the parenting because now that kid is going to choose to run to that parent and it's going to cause a lack of even more let discipline. So <laughs> let me tell you something. My kids do it yes, all the time. Yes. And I, I love my wife because if she knows something in my and you know the thing is, she'll see something in my, my kids are smart. They'll try to go ask my wife. My wife will be like, did your dad tell you something, something, something? Go ask your dad. He'd be like, no. She'd be like, see, <laughs> see now, now I know why. See, she's like, no. See, the thing is, but you got some parents, they'd be like, well, you know, something, something. And then guess what? Now that leads to arguments. Now the kids in here, like, mommy told me or daddy told me. Like, <laughs> communication <laughs> is key, man. Yeah. That, 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 that. Oh, know they daddy told it. me, mommy told me. Lie. Yo. I was professional at that because it's just like, oh, I know I have to ask him for this. <laughs> yeah. I can't ask her for this. I got to ask him. You ask if I want to go somewhere. Gamer. Pops, mm-hmm. if I if I need want something, mom, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Wait, pops will take me wherever I'm trying to go. Mom ain't trying to take me nowhere, but mom will definitely buy some stuff, you know. So, I definitely used to play that trick all the time. And it worked. <laughs> see? see, I used to ask my mom. I used to play that trick all the time. I asked my time. mom for it. I, I was like, you know what? If I want to do something, I, I already know. Mama mm-hmm. let me walk out the door. Yeah. I was like, mom, can I stay outside late? Daddy and Ben told me <laughs> <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, what you doing out there? Mom, yeah, I'll never forget. I'm out there playing, oh my playing ball. God. My father told me, I, I thought I told you school night now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be in the house at 7 30, 8 o'clock. And not wanna, him, not him pulling up. up too. You want to know what's effed up? Because as a kid, yeah. you don't even realize the damage that you caused because your dad don't told you no. Now your mm-hmm. mom don't told you. Your dad told you not to go outside. Your mom told you yes. The damage that you caused when you walk in the house. I told and him. And your parents are loud looking, your dad you looking at you, your mom looking, and now you looking like, <laughs> and the only thing you can say is, mom told me, and you walk away, and all of a sudden, you don't know what happened, all of a sudden, you hear, yada, 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 you're like, dang, what Hell, happened? Don't let, him, don't let him be abusive. That's my, that's my baby. <laughs> don't let him be abusive. Oh, no. Look, they, they go, that's my baby. That's my you baby. don't tell him not to go outside, oh, you just in there eating Lord. your ice cream, just... <laughs> <laughs> Watching static shock or something, you don't know oh. what's going on. But you know what comes bad from that? What? what? When they make up and finally realize that it was you, <laughs> that it was you're the, the one that that playing these cards. Because mm-hmm. when they, oh yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. You, when you start getting older, that yeah. shit start. It start yeah, not sliding. They, yeah, they're arguing, and mm-hmm. then you you hear them from yelling. You saying like, "Oh man, I'm over," it. and then you hear that that constant nothing, mm-hmm. or you hear. And then they realize, no, nah, this this motherfucker don't really. <laughs> oh no, it's yeah. him. Bro, you yeah. want to know how it's gonna happen, bro? It's gonna be that one scene. You gonna be sitting up there with your bowl of cereal. They gonna be in the middle of arguing. You know what's gonna kill the whole argument? Mm. They gonna be like, <laughs> this motherfucker is over there smacking. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Fiesta, <laughs> hold up, fiesta, hold up. We arguing over you. Yeah, nah, for real. You like, what's the problem? Oh man! What? And then, you know, you know, oh, I, I think you know what was like the trap card though for all of that. Oh, what is it? The trap card? Grandparents. <laughs> they killed Grand- the whole oh, household. Grandparents. The whole household. Grandparents was, was a trap card. And it, for could, that. it was nothing that could you be hidden. As soon as grandma said something, it don't matter who said what. Grandma had all the up, pool. <laughs> I think that's Come every ahead. that's everybody oh, weakness. Trust me, bro. <laughs> that's yes, everybody bro. weakness. Yes, that's bro. That's everybody weakness. Go I go ahead. through right now. Oh, my my, my cool. babies are being my granddaddy and grand. Okay, <laughs> just 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 go sit down. Just you ever got palm slapped and then <laughs> went to grandma? 
Oh man, Damn. you ain't gonna put your hands on my baby. <laughs> oh, oh, are you talking about like, oh, yeah, no, yeah. I, no, no a no. palm slap is a fist and your palm. No, oh, no, that was and an that, accident. That, no, that, that ain't no that, answer. That's, that, 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 that's that, strong. That's that's, that's almost hurt. that's almost uh that's, that's almost what we call that a word. <laughs> no, I've seen <laughs> you about to get clothesline, brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I've only ever seen that one time in my life, mm-hmm. but it wasn't of my race. It was, you know, you you all had that one friend that's. Of a different ethnicity Ooh. and get you in trouble talking about my mom. What my mom does, I was like, mm, we. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a kid get palm slapped, like fist and palm. Nah, and that, then that's nuts, bro. That's nuts. And then he and I'm like, damn, what did he do? And that's what you get when you get the mixed kids. See, the, <laughs> the mixed kids think they can do what they want to do. Oh my. Mm-mm. I do remember uh, having a friend in middle school, and he was African. And I remember going to his crib one day, and I I think I like for some reason I remember that he was supposed to be on punishment, but I went over there right because I feel like I was like we was playing the games like you sure you good? He's like yeah. I talked to my mom and all that kind of stuff, and we were just playing the game, and I heard the door slam. As soon as I heard the door slam, this dude hopped about the bed. I was, like, I was like, what's going on? And he was just like, oh man, you know, uh, he was just moving stuff, and I'm like, what's happening? Oh, and then I heard his name get called. And he's like, oh, man, he was still trying to hide stuff. And she came in there. She looked around. She said, hey, to me, like smiling and everything like that. <laughs> and she's like, let me talk to you. Yeah, let me talk to you real <laughs> Bofu, quick. come here. And then, <laughs> and then I said, Bofu, come here. And then, and, then, uh, <laughs> and then she came back and she said, I'm sorry. I told him that he wasn't allowed to play the game. Have anybody ever. So I know you're a good child. <laughs> and I just want to let you know that in this house, we follow rules. She took out a hammer and poof, the PlayStation 2. She's I like, thought you was gonna say bro, him, bro. I was like, oh, that's she was. She pain. started like, she wailed on that PS2. Oh, I ain't really? never. Yes, with a hammer. Yes, bro, with a hammer. She was just ah, so ain't ah, no taking pieces flying up. Like she could have just, just took saying, it away. No, that's what I was just gonna say. That's kind of like no, that's OD. Yes. That's borderline yeah, OD, yes, bro. Yes, like, yes, I was yes, just sold, bro. I was just sold, bro. I just would have took it. I've been scared of her. I think I'd be scared of her. See now, you see now, that's the damage. Like you don't want to have your kid scared of shit of your ass, like. She yeah. might now get that, that hammer much. one day and hit me, bro. Yeah. Like, but you know the worst part about it so is crazy. That's nuts, bro. Like, yeah, she spent crazy. the money for that. She did. It, she didn't care. That be that. That be the dumbest shit. <laughs> she she spent the money for she it. She didn't care. It was but the. It was you want to know message. what's crazy? Did she buy him another one? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I ain't said. been back over there since then. <laughs> <laughs> she, she spent the money, but I guarantee I ain't you ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. Did you buy that? No, I do remember. Even though it's unrelated, I remember I let him borrow my PSP one day. I would have never I, let him borrow listen, nothing. Listen, listen, bro, listen. And, and he, I think he like lost it at school or something. And I was like, okay, my folks bought this, or he and you lost claim, right, right, whatever, whatever. It. I don't think he was still. I don't know, but mm-hmm. and I was just like, okay, I'm out of PSP. <laughs> So either I can't tell my mama. <laughs> so so yeah, I said I said, hey, mm-hmm. let me I was like, uh Miss I forget, Miss Toy. Uh yeah. So let me let me tell you about bro. I yeah. You told? I told him. Yeah, bro, bro. PSP was like two hundred dollars. It's mine. I was like, nah, 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 nah. This friendship in the end, because I need my PSP. And how popular on PSP is. And she bought me yeah. another one. What? She bought me one. So he really did lose it. Yeah, she bought me one. I was like, I got my PSP back. I don't care about this friendship. Yeah, so he it, really man. did lose it. Then. Yeah, you know how it. many stolen PSPs there were in the two thousands, bro? Oh yeah, they were a hell. Of, he didn't lose that. That was a good, oh, yeah. good little. Yeah, friend. they probably stole that it. shit. Was in that home. No, in his, in his, in his, I remember now. I remember now. No, no, no. I remember now. What happened? What happened is that he was using it in class, and a teacher took it. So, but when he um when I went to like tell him it was mine, and all that, she went look for it. It was gone. Mm-hmm. So another student had took it. That's what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so it's still in fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still, mm-hmm. still, 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 still in fault. You know what? That's another. Didn't even take forces back in the day. You but that's another thing. Gym class, but your shoes were gone. My yeah. father was big on that. Yeah. My father told me, "Don't bring no nothing else or somebody else in this mm-hmm. house because if I find out, it mine." I was like, "I don't think it worked like wait, that." Wait, wait, wait. You said Damn, don't bring nothing. What? Say again. That's messed up. So he didn't, he didn't let you borrow stuff. No, wait, no. Oh, no, because he said that and. Like the lesson you, mm-hmm. he was. Sh- that's why I said father is needed. He was showing me you don't take stuff from nobody because anything can happen. And I hate but that, that he was you right. A big life lesson though to teach you your responsibility. No. Yeah. I, that's yes a big and life no. Lesson, you don't bro. take but stuff from other people. 
No, you have to be able to take I was about to say, at some people. point, you're going to have to know how to like yeah. operate that. You, you, don't, you can't live in this world independent. He wasn't a big so fan you, of that. Yeah. He told me hey, so. So let me ask you a question. Your dad ain't never borrowed no money? I am. <laughs> like, even if it's from the bank, yeah. bro, that's a lot. All family yeah. don't but borrow he, money, See, bro. his thing was... Possessions, right? Like items and things like that. Because he said... And he knew me at the time. I wasn't mm-hmm. big on... Hell, I can't take care of my stuff. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. take somebody that's, else. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he said... Yeah. I know you. So now here you go taking somebody else's stuff mm-hmm. and you bring it in here because he said, I'm not paying for nothing. <laughs> he said, that's mm-hmm. on you. Yeah. He said, I'm just going to discipline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to discipline you at the end of this because I told you not to do it. Right. But you know what I said? I bring in the house. <laughs> I broke a CD of somebody else's, you know, yeah. the Walkman. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, nah, I you know what you mean. Yeah, 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 nah, yeah if you don't take care of people's stuff, because that's kids, mm-hmm. bro. You don't, you don't, you don't care about people's stuff like that, for real. You just a kid. Lie, you just I enjoying did, it. I ain't gonna lie, I was different, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It. I, I, like, I always had the collector mentality. Like, <laughs> yeah. I used to borrow people's stuff. I used to make sure I wiped it off, put it back in the case. I ain't gonna lie. I, I mean, had, me too. I had a few but games that end up missing that I borrowed. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I'm just saying, as kids in general, as kids, you ain't gonna take care of. As a kid, kids. you shouldn't be borrowing nobody stuff because you never know. Are you crazy? That was now, a big part. I live old. Now, no, I'm now. talking childhood. I'm yeah. talking about when the you're older. The borrow swap games. Hey, yo, you got that. You got yeah. that. What you when you're older. He's spitting. Hey, he's when spitting. you're old, okay, I well, give you like ten or ten or eleven, but when you like. Like bro, you ain't under hold on, that? Hold on, bro. You ain't never traded games with nobody. Bro. I, I did. I had to do that shit under the table. <laughs> I had to do that in secret. Bro, I am literally <laughs> shocked. Like drugs, I had to do that in secret. Like that is, bro, yeah, bro, that, that is a big part of childhood yeah. that I'm gonna be mad that we gonna be missing when they get rid of the CDs and physical. Yeah. Now, like, you know what we used to do? We used to when games would come out, we used to play them like I'm gonna get this and you get that. And when See I'm done, we, yeah, when but I'm I have done. to do that in secret. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, that's probably that's probably, and, and that's probably why you, no, you do well, it with me now, well, man, because you didn't do it. Well, well no, at, me well, no, me at first, at first, it was no. My dad really didn't care. His friends. It's not until, man, I just wasn't taking care of stuff, mm-hmm. and that's when he said, "I, right, until you can do that, it's time to pull that plug because mm-hmm. you can't, you're." Like you said, it's a life lesson. You got to take this on. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So I can't let I can't let you continue to take stuff from other people, destroy it, lose it, and now you don't have the money to pay for it. So what is so what is something that our father figures, dads have taught us that we kind of keep to this day? Yeah, respect, uh, respect. I think I, what my yeah. father said: respect. never leave your family alone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I yeah. mean, you know, mine, respect. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, respect. He said respect. All Even those. in absence, it's a lesson, right? Because mm-hmm. it's about how you. I told him about my kids that you'll never go without the father, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 I told yeah. Him, yeah. So yeah. I'm trying to push that on my son as much as I can. Hey, man, to to yeah. to the end, to the end, till I can't no more physically. I think, I think my dad taught me more about about what he he did. It's like through his actions, I learned from him because my dad. Was or is like the most caregiving person I've ever met in my life because he dropped out of like what school when he was like 13 to like start working and stuff, Dang. something like that. Yeah, yeah, he started to do like little jobs and everything. He had he was born in an era where they would have a lot of kids with baby boomers or something, baby like, boom, that. Baby boomers or something like that. Mm-hmm. And he had like 13 siblings, so yeah, 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 so he had to like work to help take care of his siblings. Your daddy was, related to mine, I, I, I. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, so, and even now to this day, in his 60s, he still, like, prepares food, and he, like, goes and gives it to, like, elderly folks. He takes care of old family members. Like, he dedicates so much time. And then even the jobs that he'll do on the side will be, like, caregiving to people, like, looking after people that can't walk, like, picking them up, walking around Helping with them, feeding them. Oh, no, that's you know dope. what I'm saying? Doing all, and he's done that his entire life. From thirteen, he's the every every kind of job he's ever had was taking care of somebody else in some kind of way. That's dope. That's dope. Every is that the traditional father? Because uh, my, my I think father that, I did think the same thing. Yeah, he's I think his is more system. like right. His is more more like actually being more nurturing though, in in a way too, in in, in that kind of aspect. Because it's like yeah, he had money and he yeah. provided for his family and stuff, but he also had the aspect of 
I can help take care of you too because he has a heart to do that. So can a man I, nurture? Of course. Yeah, you can. It's not going to be the same as a woman's, exactly. but you can. Yeah. You definitely can. Because it, it, it's like it's interchangeable. The masculine and feminine energy is interchangeable, bro, between both. You just going to want to tap into their you know what I mean? energy a little too much. Yeah. So, I, so, well, I mean, I guess it's ties into you then. How would you do it? Because I have a boy, so I have to be. Yeah, a little rough. I'm going to be real. Like I he, have to. In order for me, how I learned to tap into, like, I'm going to be real with you. It ain't, it's, it ain't no homo. It's a pause. Man. It ain't yeah. none of that. I tap into my feminine side with my kids because I have two daughters, bro. I have to learn to tap into my feminine side because if I keep on approaching my daughters with just toxic masculinity and just straight masculinity, they don't know that I can be soft. At the end of the day, you got to realize that girls are going to be daddies. daddies, Like, they're going to be daddy lovers, bro. Like, bottom line. So if I keep on approaching them with just straight to her, like at the end of the day, bro, I'm doing nothing but hurting them at the end because it's going to make them scared to approach me. It's going to make them scared to want to talk to me about things. And it's going to be worse when they get older, when things start happening in their life, when stuff happens with them. You don't want your daughter to hold something back from you because you don't know how to tap into that feminine side and know how to sit down and be soft and be vulnerable. And that's what's wrong with a lot of society. A lot of these niggas are too thug for their own good, bro. They don't know how to sit down and be vulnerable, bro. Is it that bad? Yes, it's that bad, bro. It's horrible, bro. Like, niggas don't know how to sit down and just be soft sometimes, bro. they like, at the end of the day, being soft. But at the end of the day, social media makes you feel like men should always be hard all the time. Like you see yeah. now, like, they make it feel like men shouldn't have no safe space. You know what's crazy? Don't have nowhere to talk. And it's crazy, and, bro. And, and I, there was an example that I heard that kind of would be the solution. Or it, it's not the solution, but it's like a suggestion. And it kind of makes sense when you think about it. It's all about what is wanted. Right. So in the example that they use to kind of clarify it and make it easy to understand is that let's say that every woman in existence wanted a nice Christian man. There would be nothing but nice Christian men around. Them. You know what I'm saying? So if the world, if everybody in the world shunned this hard exterior ego, then it wouldn't exist. You feel what I'm saying? So and I think. The problem is, is that when people do things that are harsh and critical and wrong, everybody's laughing. Everybody's saying, ah, it's getting a bunch of likes. It's getting shared. It's yep. people are accepting embracing it, 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 embracing man. it. Right. So, but if it's that's just like, problem. as a, that's why the important thing for you to do is control your surroundings and contribute to yourself and the people that you associate with that spin. instead of just saying, oh, yeah, it, oh, he doesn't care about stuff. That's cool. Like you don't care about something that's lame. You know what I'm saying? But what they're trying to do is get rid of shame. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, like no so, shame so, and nothing. Weight. Yeah. What you do, it, it, stupidity. And at the end of the day, like you said, bro, bro, really shout out, bro. You just yeah. spinning just then. Yeah. Like, Does that be they a character? Trying to make it? What? And Technically? But, if what? you don't feel no shame on yourself? No, hell. Like, shame day, shame bro, builds character. That, like, I'm going to put it like this. You not feeling shame is the same as you not feeling fear. You okay. could not live without feeling fear okay, or not feeling shame. Let me switch it up. Mm-hmm. Are you more likely to make mistakes? Yes, you're gonna be more likely, likely because if you don't mistakes. have shame, that if you means don't you no don't shame. have that power to recognize that it's just some things that you just should have damn do. Mm-hmm. Like at the end of the day, man, you gotta be it's something. It's about being smart and being stupid. At the end of the day, it's some things in the world that you should be able to look at and be like, at the end of the day, bro. If you know you ain't never got damn went and did no super deep diving and no dove 600 feet, you're not finna go out there your first day and be like, I'm diving 600 feet. Like, no, bro, you're not. You're probably not going to make it, bro. So <laughs> it, it it goes to the time like, bro, you got to realize it, it comes with experience, bro. Mm-hmm. Experience is a big thing, bro. A lot of people... You, no, yo, you should feel shame. You should feel fear because it can also protect you, bro. Look at what's going on in the world, like he just said. Look what's going on in the world. I now. don't know about the fear part, though. What do you mean? Why not feel so, fear? If you like, no, I'm not. Talk about, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. You know how I feel about mm-hmm. fear. Sometimes mm-hmm. I feel like fear stops you from doing a lot of things that you can possibly. So if you do. don't fear a shark, you know what you're gonna do. You gonna run out there and try to pet that shark? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog, and that's probably the last well, thing that you pet. So, so I give you a better example. Okay. I didn't want to be on. I I was afraid of the camera. I was afraid until you came and said, "Hey, you nothing to be afraid about." But don't the you feel accomplished gone. now? But the fear was gone. But don't you feel accomplished now? Yeah. You have fear. But if exactly. I didn't have the fear in the first place, mm-hmm. man, we wouldn't have this conversation. I'd be ready to hop in, and it wouldn't and feel, try it. It wouldn't feel as good as it do now because you accomplished something. I mean, yeah. It, that is the truth, but I think fear holds you back from doing it's supposed to. certain things. If I can go out there and say, man, I can but, make a but million. But guess what? Guess what, though? Guess what? Guess what? 
in order for you to have something that's really good and to get somewhere really good, there has to be a gate. And fear is that gate. Obstacle. Because it's just like, because it's just like, oh, you know how people be talking about, oh, you can't do what I do. And the reason you can't is because you're scared. And the reason I'm here is because I, I'm scared, but I'm still going to go. You know what I'm saying? So you need, like, people always talk about how gatekeeping is bad. It's like, no, we need to get, because it's like, well, how, well, how do I know you're going to do this for real? I need to test you. That's a gate. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to test yourself. That's another gate. Mm-hmm. When they talk about overcoming stuff, this is what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then to touch on the mistake thing, yeah, too, because really another thing that helps, uh, mistakes are good, right? And the reason why they're yeah. good. And this is something when that happened. You learn from them. This, learn from them. This, is, this is something that happened to me. That too. Um, but what happened was I would make a mistake and I would be disciplined for it. I would make a mistake and I would be laughed at. When you have that happen to you constantly, what are you going to think? Making mistakes is bad. Yes. That is a terrible mind frame yeah. to, to have because one, one, you're always going to make it, right? The, the thing that messed me up is that I got the discipline without the love. So... And if I'm scared to make mistakes, I never try anything. If I never try anything, I don't get anywhere, right? So, but that's the thing with society is when you have somebody that does something and it's genuinely a mistake, you're shunned. You're even though it has to happen, but there also has to be something where it's like, but it's okay. Damn, and if it's not, robots. yeah. And if it's not, if <laughs> that doesn't happen, then you you create people that are perfectionists. But they Which don't want to. But they don't want to try anything out of you know what I mean. Toxic. That thank you. Unusual. Mm. Thank you. And that goes back. It, it goes back to the lack of the stupid. The, the way. The reason why these movies suck. Mm-hmm. The reason why these games suck because mm-hmm. these folks are not ready to go outside of the spectrum, bro. Yeah. They're trying to stick to the norm of what mm-hmm. they feel everybody wants. And I'm sorry, we're all gamers up here. And the mm-hmm. gaming community has been garbage, yo. Y'all need to release something different. The movies, uh, they are trying to do something different. Like stop following the norm it's okay to be different yeah. go back to the two chain y'all need to be bumping that two chain songs i'm different yeah i'm different bro like yeah. y'all need to go back and listen to that bro and think differently you think because it's too late? no it's nah. not too late man I it's think, not if I think everybody it's, already stuck in their way it's so easy because we have so the you reason can't why you're stuck in your way no man. i mean they are already not stuck to in a their certain ways. i mean you you you, you still learn to you know they're not gonna change i think up now. i think the reason why is because we have a society where <laughs> it's like oh it's like super risk averse, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, so, of, so think about it like this, bro. Risk. You know how you the reason the way that you used to even talk to a woman, you would have to go up and talk to her. Now you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? You would have to go out and get your own own food. Like if you want the food, you don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to go get your own groceries. You don't have to do anything that puts you out well. that that exposes you. That's you don't have to do anything like that anymore. Because like, technology, it's it's not too late. It's just. Because of how I kind of feel society like. looks at how things right. are, and how it's not a lot of stuff that's not accepted as far as bad stuff. Yeah. But it's just people just late. rather people just rather just not not even yeah. take the chance. Yeah, I, I kind of feel late. because mm-hmm. it is as long as the advancement in technology continues, mm-hmm. it is kind of too late. Because as long as they keep on introducing this new well, technology, they gonna bro, change it's gonna make but, everything worse but, and worse. It's too late. But you know, but you know what's crazy about that though? It makes it easier for people like us. Because a lot of folks are just going to be absorbed in the technology and how easy it is we, and how we, risk risk we averse life sides, is. But, but, sides. but that makes it easier for us to get to the top. Now, people are aware of this. Like, there's no information. Well, there is some information that you kind of kind of won't find unless you really look for it. But, bro, because of technology as well, you can also do a lot of stuff that you couldn't do before. So. For people that are actually like go getters and willing to be risk risk of you know actually take risk, mm-hmm. it's a lot easier because everybody's so scared because of everything that they have access to to not have to take risk. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why mm-hmm. I say it's too late. It's too late to go back to mm-hmm. the olden days. Or man, I mm-hmm. don't want to go fish. Man, but, I got a machine that show you where the fish is at. I just wanted to say something like actually though that much. I love technology, but scientifically proven. Mm-hmm. Technology does dumb us down. Yeah. Because of the fact that if you think about it back in the day when we had flip phones, how mm-hmm. many numbers could you memorize? <laughs> Try to memorize a number now. Who number can you memorize? I, uh, I actually know my, I my mean, parents. You know, I know my few, wife. Not like my, back in the day. I know my wife. So that's why I say it is good, but it makes you more dependent on that technology instead yeah. of the technology in your head. True. Because at the end of the day, it's nothing like it's a chemical that releases when you actually open up and read a book. 
Just yeah. like how we read yeah. mangas and stuff. It's a chemical that releases. It's a different because you actually use your imagination versus mm-hmm. when you use that technology, it's using all your imagination so it's dumbing you down slowly. Yeah, because right. yeah, it's a wrap. I'll it's like you, it's a wrap. It's like you going on a computer to build Lego blocks instead of mm-hmm. doing it in real life. <laughs> That's what it's basically gonna be like. Instead of you being like, yeah, I'm put these yeah, Lego yeah. blocks. You can be like, you can, like, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like I give you a better. You know the magnetic. They got magnetic Legos now. Mm-hmm. Why? What happened to the old, the good old day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it is what it is. The days it, it's it's about that time. It's just like oh, there's yeah. nothing you can do. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's nothing that that they'll be able to do. But we gonna be able to do what we want to do. Now, now <laughs> maybe. Yeah, ain't no maybe. We gonna make it happen. For sure. For sure. For we sure. definitely gonna make it happen. Well, man, this is this was actually man, yeah, man, yeah, man yeah, this was actually yeah, a pretty yeah. good man. We, we, this was a pretty good topic here, man. This is actually pretty yeah, dope, yeah, man. So yeah. we definitely hope all uh, the people and the masses actually hear this, man, and listen to the message definitely. that we have for the people today. And I guess we gonna wrap it up, man. Can y'all y'all already know, man. Y'all go? stay blessed, never no, stressed. Say it before we go. Come on. Come on. No. Bigger we made it. No. Oh, that's no. the wrong. Not, no. Not what either. the hell? No. Okay. I'm going to just, I'm going to just go. No. I thought that wasn't it. Come on, mama. Mama, I made it. Mama, if you watching this, I made it. I made it. I, just I tell it. her, mama, I made Come on, Dr. Mama, I made it. Yeah, yeah. I forgot you. I mama, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What up?